Oh hi, and welcome to our virtual show and sell. I'm Ali, Adobe's creative director, and today I'm going to introduce you to one of our new brand new collections for fall 2020. We call this collection Spice Fruit because it's defined by warm, rich tones of cinnamon, nutmeg, and turmeric. There's also an abundance of warmth and texture, mohair throws, handcrafted metal pieces, and woven baskets. Also intricate textiles. Everything has a very arty feel. You feel almost like you're in a nice gallery of beautiful collected treasures from all over the world. So for our first stop, let's talk throws. This collection is all about warmth and comfort, and our Whistler woven throws are a great example of that. They're 20% wool and 80% acrylic. We have them in multiple colors, and they're super soft and flow resistant. And I love that they're accented with this extra long fringe. I can open up this beautiful aubergine one here for you, so you can just see how nice and cozy you'd be with this by the fire in the winter. We also have some other lighter weight throws. This one here is our honeycomb throw. It's 100% cotton, still got a great feel, really nice, tossed over the bed or on the edge of the sofa. When we design our collections, we really pay attention to color to make sure that the stories come together very cohesively. And this is especially important with our pillow collections. We've put together a few um, little displays here that show pillows that coordinate really well together. Um, over here we've got some nice golds and light greens and chartreuses. Um, we always like to start with the Lena Linen Pillow, our classic. So this is that Belgian linen pillow that's stone washed and has this beautiful frayed edge. Also oversized at 24 by 24 inches. Um, and then you pair that with some accents. This is one of my favorites. This pillow is um, made with a dabu technique. So the dabu um, is a mud that's applied with a block print, and then the pillow cloth is dipped into a big vat of natural vegetable dye, and that creates this beautiful um, mud cloth effect. Another one to point out, and this is a new series for us, um, these cotton knit throws. So it's a nice knitted pillow, super soft, all 100% cotton, and we have multiple colors, so you can make different different stories with that backdrop. Um, this pillow is pretty whimsical and fun. This is the all hands pillow and this is all towel tufting. Here we've got velvet with embroidery and here's another example of hand embroidery that's just so intricate and gorgeous. It's, it's like an art piece on its own. Um, moving over here we have our folk art pillow. So here you've got a combination of um, techniques. You've got the towel tufting, you've got the embroidery. It's just so much fun with this folk art inspired pattern. Um, I should also point out that we like to always combine a throw with the pillows. So if you're buying some pillows, make sure to add in a throw. In this example here, the whistle woven throw and the gold is such a good pairing. Um, here we move into some more rusts and deeper golds. So again, you've got your Lena linen options and look how great those look with these botanical um, botanical prints all in the towel tufting. We've got the two colors. Again, another throw option for you. Then moving over here, we go into some more rich aubergine colors. Um, I love this series here. This is all embroidery. It's super textural and it's got the blanket stitch around it. So we've got a few options in that. And you can see we've got the, the purple tones and then also the golds. So again, mixing in those linas like this one here and you can even add in one of the gold ones and you've got this really powerful story to tell. This pillow here, again, so textural the way it's woven and a really fun tassel edge. And this one's quite similar, but it's got this sort of rope-like um, fringe. And then here, this is nice staple love the little embroidery detail. So, so many different options for you to create whatever story you're looking for in your story.
But let's not forget about the floor. We've introduced a lot of new rugs in different styles and sizes this season. Um, right here underneath me are some of our new leather chindi rugs. So chindi is a traditional Indian um, process where they take recycled um, pieces of fabric, in this case recycled leather, and then they weave them together to create something new. So these rugs are really upcycled. Um, they've been made from scraps from the fashion industry. We've got a lot of different colors. Um, here's a black one, this is more gold tones, and then this one actually has a, a gold and purple pattern. And they also come in different sizes. We've got the runners, we've got two by threes, we've got big five by sevens, so lots to choose from. Um, I like them because they've got some nice weight to them. They really can uh, ground to space and they, they don't um, flip up easily. And then here we've got our Echo Rug. I love this because it's made of um, rapidly renewable seagrass and then it's got cotton stitching. So you get a really nice pattern here on it. And we also have this in white. So that gives a really fresh light look. And again, this comes in multiple sizes. And then behind there, this is a really interesting um, series of rugs. This is our, our Saison and our Autumn Leaf rug. And it's a Keelum style rug, but all woven from jute. Again, jute is rapidly renewable. Um, uh, resource and so it, it's very environmentally friendly but it's got a really nice flat weave look and it's that Keelum style which is a traditional weaving style so it's a really really special piece for your floor. I love to collect handmade pieces that bring a real worldy and eclectic look into the home and Spice Root has so many. Um, I want to start by sharing some of our handcrafted metal pieces that we've introduced. These candlesticks here, these are a real nod to the early days of Indaba where my mom used to import from Mexico. The style um, and the designs are very similar, but we had them remade in India this time. They have a square base like this, and you can arrange them in any configuration and it looks spectacular. These are the oversized ones here, and we have little smaller ones too that are great for tabletop. These also come in a gold crackle and a silver crackle, so they can be festive as well. These ones are very rustic and refined. And then we also have these vases that have that same rustic, actually we call it a leather effect. So it looks like really um, old burnished leather. Then here we've got these ones that have a patina effect. So you see that nice green color and a little bit of the oxidation here on the pots. The chalice actually, we've used it as an ice bucket for Prosecco, which was a really nice look. In the metal, we also have some smaller pieces, so if you're looking for some more gift style items, this is a little set of two lanterns with the hearts. And then up here, we've got some little pots and also the set of two crowns, um, great for holiday. And you'll notice they're sitting on our Abaca bamboo shelf. This is a great piece. I think it would look spectacular in a bathroom. Um, you can put some of your lotions and potions on there and style it really nicely. But it's a great way to actually display a lot of these metal pieces in your store. Uh, over here, we've got a few more metal, um, metal pieces that really have an artistic value. If you look at this, isn't that beautiful with the brass brazing here? So we have three sizes in that. And then we also have little tea light holders here. Again, it's got that oxidation. So it's really a natural effect that we love. After the metal, we've got a lot of really nice new ceramic pieces. So my personal favorite here are the pot heads. So it's kind of a new take on the face pot that we did so well with for spring and continue to do well with. And these ones are a little bit more stoic in their expression. We also have some fun little green footed pots here, so they make a nice trio and in purple here as well. And then these are really nice little votives in different flower shapes and different colors. And we have these in a variety of colors, so whatever your theme is.
then there's some beautiful carved wood pieces in this collection. So you can see the Anastasia tables here. All of this is hand carved, all this pattern. Uh, and even here you can see the intricate carving. Really nice serving, totally food safe. Would be hand washed though. And then also up there you can see the serving boards in two sizes with all of that uh, carved, delicate carving and the little handles so you can easily bring out coffee on the tray. And then here we've got baskets. These baskets are quite unique because they're made of seagrass and then they've got um, stitching over top. That's what gives them a lot of the color. And they've got little tassels. I especially love these kind of modern ones with these bright colors. Really nice effect. And then um, we've got some baskets up here as well, also made up with seagrass and some cotton stitching. Those would work really well too for putting a plant inside. And then I forgot to mention here we've got these pieces. They look a lot like ceramic, but they're actually made of glass, so it's quite an interesting effect. Um, quite, quite rustic as well, so there's three different shapes there. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. I think we've covered it. So thanks for joining me on the Spice Route, and I hope you'll introduce some of these items to your store this fall.